The concept of leading from the middle really arose from our work with leaders in different school systems around the world, beginning in Ontario, in Canada, but spreading elsewhere. Every organization, almost of any complexity, has a top who are in control, people at the bottom who are on the front line, and also people in between. Uh, in a complex world, it is hard to lead only from the top. People at the top cannot know, have all the knowledge or know all the people. But if you give leadership to people at the bottom, then they have the initiative, but you cannot guarantee any kind of consistency or coherence in what it is you are doing. So people have started to look at the middle as a place where leadership may begin or may occur. In a school, the middle are the teacher leaders or the heads of departments or heads of years. In a municipality, the middle uh, is the schools themselves and how the schools work together. And in a country, the middle is uh, the municipalities or the districts and the way that they can collaborate. In that sense, the concept of leading, in the, leading from the middle, as we call it, is about how the middle takes control of the leadership. However, there is a difference uh, in our work and the work of some other people who talk about middle level or middle leaders. They mean leading in the middle, so they mean a level or a tier, like a wedding cake, for example. And there the point of the middle is to make the system more efficient, to ensure that the people at the top can implement what they have required uh, effectively to gain improvements in results. For us in the systems we've worked in, leading from the middle is more than this. It's really about not just raising achievement, but getting closer to the learning and to the children. It's not just about coherence and how well things fit, but it's about cohesion and how well things fit together. It's not just a level, it's about really uh, becoming close to the community uh, the, the, that serves uh, the schools or the people. Leading from the middle then is about taking initiative, about responding to the diversity of the people you know best in front of you and about supporting and developing the community together not simply about implementing priorities at the top more efficiently. So when we talk about leading from the middle it really has three components. It is first its a philosophy about getting closer to the children and the learning. Second it's a structure of uh, interdisciplinary teams of people who know the child or know the, the curriculum or know the organization. And third, it's a culture, it's a way of being, it's a set of habits and relationships. And this culture is a culture of collaborative professionalism. And collaborative professionalism is really how in an organization or a community we collaborate uh, because we must work together so that we are together more effective than we are individually. So we treat evidence with respect as well as our experience. And we have dialogue like adults, not just conversation that avoids problems and issues.